Welcome guys to today's tutorial. This is probably one of your first tutorials. Um, just so you, you uh, understand what this tutorial is about, sometimes I give these um, as homework to watch before we do something, otherwise sometimes it's a bit of a, um, uh, a refresher. Just with these you can stop, you can rewind, you can pause, um, you know, as many times as you would like. Also a good idea is to have a go at the question first by pausing it, do the question and then play it to see if you've got the question right. Okay, but anyway, today's uh, uh, tutorial, we're going to be looking at factor trees. Factor trees. Now, we'll look at a question to start off with, and then we'll go through some definitions of, of some of the words there. So if we look at the first e example, so we've got here, um, let's write the number 12 as a product of its prime factors. Of its prime factors. Okay, so let's have a look at a couple of the, the definitions of some of the words there. Now, the, probably the first one, which is most important, would be the word factors, because obviously we're doing factor trees. So hopefully you'll remember that a factor is a number that can be divided evenly into another number. So if I looked at the, number, uh, the factors of, let's say, 10, we might have the factors of 1 and 10, the factors of 2 and 5. Now, some people might like to put them in order, 1, 2, 5, and 10. You don't really have to. I like to pair them because obviously you can see here 1 times 10 is 10, 2 times 5 is 10. Okay, if I look at the factors of, let's say, uh, 12, we would have 1 and 12, we would have 2 and 6, we would have 3 and 4. Okay, so it has a few more factors. So factors are numbers that go into another number evenly. The other word, prime, well, hopefully you remember that prime is where a number, a number that only has two factors. Number that has only two factors. Can you think of any prime numbers? A couple of easy ones. Number two, two and one. Number five, five and one. The number 31 only has 31 and one. Quick question for you. What do you reckon about the number one? Is that a prime number? Hopefully you said no, because pr uh, prime number has two factors where one only has one factor. So it's not a prime number. And if it's not a prime, if it's not a fact, uh, so a prime number, it's called a composite number. And the very last term there that we have, haven't we looked at there is what does product mean? Hopefully you would have said a product means multiply or times. So we're going to look at the number 12. So basically what this question is asking us to do is breaking the number 12 down into its prime factors. Okay, so what I'm looking at here, I want to look at two numbers that multiply together to give 12. Now you could use um, 3 and 4, which are two that we're going to use. You could use 6 and 2, but I don't want you to use 12 and 1. Because if you use 12 and 1, 1 isn't a prime factor, okay, and doesn't help us. So never you break it down into um, 12 and 1 or, or, or whatever. So we've got 3 and 4 here. Now, the minute you come up with a prime number such as 3, I want you to circle it because that is where it ends. Well, that branch ends, that tree ends. Now... We've got 4. 4 is not a prime number, so that continues to go down. So what multiplies the other to give 4? Hopefully you said 2 and 2. Now they also are both prime numbers, so we're going to circle those. And what you can see, the branches have all ended, and our tree is complete. Now the question said, write 12 as a product of its prime factors. Well, we've got the prime factors there. So what we need to do is simply write that down with times in between. 3 times 2 times 2. You can write them from small to biggest if you would like. Now, just a more advanced thing that Joel mentioned now, we could actually um, rewrite that in a more simple way. We, 2 times 2, well, remember if we multiply something by itself, it's called squared because there are two lots of 2's there, okay? And we can times that by 3. Also, a good thing to, to make sure that you're correct is you can actually do these um, answers in your head. 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12 to make sure you're correct. Just when you do here, remember that's 2 times 2 because you're multiplying it by itself and then times 3 also equals 12. 
Okay, so a nice easy question there. So let's have a look at a more challenging one now. We're going to look at the number, let's say uh, the number 40. Okay, so you might want to pause it, have a go at it, and then see what the solution is. Okay, so we could use lots of different numbers here. Okay, we could use 8 and 5, we could use 4 and 10, we could use 20 and 2. It doesn't matter which one you use. Okay, I'm going to use 4 and 10 because they're both fairly simple. Now, neither of those are prime numbers, they're both composite numbers. So I'm going to keep on going. 4 goes down into 2 and 2, 10 goes down into 5 and 2. And hopefully, what you'll realize is that they are all now prime numbers. So I'm going to circle them all. So I can simply now write 40 equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Some people, again, might like to go a little bit further and write that as 2 to the power of 3 times 5. Okay, let's just double check it. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. So that's correct. Remember, if you use the second way here, if you want to check your answer, it's not 2 times 3. Remember, cubed means we're multiplying it by itself three times. So 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. Okay, let's also have a look at 120. It's a nice big one. Okay. 120, so let's take uh, 30 and 4. Again, you could use 60 and 2 or, you know, 40 and 3. It's up to you. All right, so 30 is not a prime. It's composite. So we're going to go down to 6 and 5. And then 4 will go down to 2 and 2. Now, hopefully, we look at that and we notice that 2 is prime, 2 is prime, 5 is prime. But 6 is composite, so we're going to keep on going with 6. So we go down to 3 and 2. And we're going to circle both of those because they're both prime numbers. So to finish us off, we're going to write 120. Let's write it from small to biggest this time. We've got 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Okay, again, you might like to rewrite that underneath and put that as 2 to the power of 3 times 5. Oops, and then times 3. So my bad, I forgot the 3 to start off with. That's all right. Okay, and again, we know that 2 cubed is 8 because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. 40 times 3 equals that 120. Okay, very uh, basic use of factored trees there. If you would like to look onto the next lesson, we'll start looking at how the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor can be used with factored trees. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Any questions, please make sure you ask.